Now, Joel, I need your help to decode this. Uh, let me read uh, your headline in Breitbart.com. The border wall deal with the national emergency is a win for Trump. Um, I have seen objections from immigration hawks like Mickey Kaus and Ann Coulter who say uh, that this will be stopped by the courts. Trump capitulated. This is a disaster. I see the White House shooting back at Coulter. Why do you think it's a win for Trump? Why do you think Coulter's wrong if you do? And is that wall actually going to get built or will it be stopped by some Obama judge? Okay, well, first of all, it's certainly going to be stopped by an Obama judge, but then it's going to eventually come before a Trump judge or a Trump panel of judges. Whether or not he ultimately prevails, what's most important about this border wall deal plus the national emergency is what's not in it. And what's not in it is any sort of concession by the president on immigration at all. There's nothing here about immigration. The only concessions have to do with border security. And what Ann Coulter and others are worried about is that there is a provision that allows people who are sponsors or potential sponsors of unaccompanied minor children to avoid deportation. The reason they do that is often when an unaccompanied minor comes to the United States, they may have a relative who's also an illegal alien. There's no other way to care for that child unless you want to hold them separately other than to release them to the custody of the person who may be an illegal alien, but they may be unwilling to come forward if they're going to be deported. So in order to avoid the political problem of having quote unquote kids in cages again, they decided to make sure that the children who are stopped by Border Patrol can be housed with a relative or someone who's not going to be deported. Now, there's some very good criticism of this. It's not a great policy. It's really more done for political reasons. But as to whether it throws the door open wide for masses of illegal immigrants, I, I don't think so. It may incentivize some people to send their kids on the dangerous journey. That's a problem. But that becomes less of a problem over time if indeed the wall gets built. So it's a loophole, but it's one that closes. And what Trump did not give away is any sort of legal status for the so-called dreamers who were here under Obama's DACA program. He also didn't give any sort of legal status or path to citizenship for the 11 million plus illegal aliens here. That's what Democrats wanted when he first proposed the wall as one of his four pillars in his State of the Union last year. So Democrats got nothing in terms of immigration reform, and now they have no leverage. They cannot negotiate anything. The deal that everybody thought would be made was that Democrats would give Trump the wall in exchange for some kind of amnesty. They got nothing. <laughs> and so I understand there's lots of loopholes here, lots of things people are worried about, and there will be challenges in the courts and technical challenges, all kinds of things. But what's really important here is the Democrats accepted the principle that a border barrier is necessary and therefore not immoral, while at the same time not getting any sort of immigration legal status, path to citizenship, any of that stuff. They've lost all their leverage going forward. And Look, I know I'm in the minority here. I mean, I have to be honest. Most people think this is not a good deal. But I feel that it is. I'm prepared to be wrong about that. However, I do think that as this retreats into the rearview mirror, we are going to see people start to realize that Democrats no longer have any leverage to achieve anything on immigration, even though they have control of the House of Representatives. And when it comes to the 2020 election, they're going to have to face their own voters and tell them we didn't get anything for you. And they're going to start squabbling amongst themselves the way they have with the Green New Deal and all sorts of other things. They're, they're going to compete with each other to be more radical than the next. And I think it's going to look very, very bad. Already you have Democratic presidential candidates vowing to take down Trump's border barrier, which is just completely ridiculous. That's an excerpt from the Ezra Levant Show. Every day I do a video monologue and then I interview an interesting guest. And then I end by reading my hate mail, but you've got to subscribe to it, which you can do at the rebel.media slash shows.